You guys, we have had five inches of rain in the past week, and now we can add another four inches to that. You can see there is a literal river which is coming through the cow pasture back by the front of the house, and it's coming down the side of the house. But there's a little, literal river in our backyard. Well, it's eh, more like a creek. Um, but you can see it's like going all the way back into the woods. And I kind of wish it was there all the time, not going to lie. But uh, we, get, we get a uh, good little creek going here every now and then. The amount of rain we've had is just crazy. Now here is off of the front porch. You can see that our willow tree out there, which actually died a couple years ago, and I'm really sad about that because willow trees are some of my favorite trees. Um, and it was so beautiful, but it died. And um, this might be, uh, this rain might be the result of that. I don't know. Let me go over here. Still need to get that Christmas tree up. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's uh, everything, because we're at the bottom of the hill here, everything comes to us, so we get everybody's trash, everybody's rainwater, just comes right to us. That's where I was showing you guys earlier. Unbelievable! It's like a completely different day. It's like 66 degrees. The sun is shining. Of course, there's still clouds, but are you kidding me? This is crazy. We are obviously still like I'm still sick and congested. They are too. The kids are. But I couldn't help myself. Today is just like gorgeous. It feels great outside. So. We just had to get a taste of it. He wants to go down to the old house that used to be where our house is sitting now. Um, but it was dragged back onto our neighbor's property many years ago. And so, yeah, we're not going to go back there today. But I have a little project that I wanted to do today while it feels good outside. So if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you saw last year, I think I put it in one of my videos. I showed you guys the DIY olive tree that I made for our bedroom. And since then, I've wanted to make a couple more. Um, I definitely want to do another large tree for another room. But until then, I think I'm going to do um, just a small vase um, and start to fill my house with some greenery. And I have an old tree that I bought from Amazon like maybe a couple years ago or so. And I just don't like the quality of it. I think it looks a little cheap. And um, so I'm going to take the leaves off of it and I'm going to make my own tree. Because these trees, you guys know like if you've looked at these indoor trees or whatever, the fox trees, they're very expensive. Um, and I just don't have that kind of money, obviously, so. It's a spider. It's a little spider. You scared him. Alright, but anywho, I am looking for a, I guess like a tree branch that's like small enough that I can put it in a vase. Um, because I got an old pie safe from my neighbor whenever they moved. And I really kind of want to decorate it for spring and summer months to come. So I really just want to add some greenery on top of it. And I kind of want it to be like very boisterous, if that makes sense. So um, I'm looking for a kind of branch that's like a little crazy. Um, so I'm going to scavenge the woods today a little bit and um, see if I can't find something. Okay, wait, the 
Oh, yeah. And I'm also wearing my brand that I created today, you guys. I've been posting the heck out of these shirts and sweatshirts and stuff. And um, I'll hopefully have some more stuff out this year. But today we're repping my own brand. Of course, I have Beach and Barn. As always, I love Beach and Barn. Um, but, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some... Um, little trimmers for a tree branch. These may not be big enough, but we'll see. We will see. You got a splinter? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Let me see. The spider got me my splinter. The spider got you? Yes. Oh, I think, I think you'll be alright. Ah. Um, Alright, come on, bud. So I think I'm going to take some branches off of this tree right here. I have got to go get a ladder because I can't reach that. Alright, I'm going to go into the she shed, which is full of mess and all of my. Uh, I'm gonna have to reorganize all this stuff. My Christmas trees are up here. And all of my, like, I've got, um, not that you guys care, um, but, like, fall, Christmas, spring, all kinds of stuff. I'll start putting spring stuff out. Maybe March. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but for now, we're just gonna create some natural florals. Free. We like free stuff. So I have these, I can make it simple or add some more layer to it. I'm not really sure. This is a walnut tree, by the way, and it does produce some pretty big walnuts. Okay, here's the tree that I was talking about. Um, I don't, it's not my favorite. I just, I don't mind it, but I think that I could cut the leaves off of this thing and just make it look so much better. Um, they did drill holes in this tree and then hot glued them. Um, so I may end up taking the drill and making some holes in that walnut branch um in the walnut branches but i'm gonna cut these leaves off and try to put them on the branches and then i'm eventually gonna make another full tree um just because i do i would like one in this office once we get it cleaned out as you can see it's a mess right now um but i just gotta get cleaned out and organized and then I'm gonna make hopefully another uh, maybe a big olive tree or something um, and that's gonna require some like concrete and stuff which I do have so I could go ahead and do that um, but I'm just gonna take some leaves off of here and I'm gonna make my branches I love it. I think they'll be really pretty just as like a statement 
in a base, you know what I mean? branches. I'm going to see if they go well in this um, this vase that I have. I'm not quite sure they're going to do right, but we'll see. trying to figure out how to get the branches into or the leafy branches into this branch um, I've seen people like drill holes in them and then they like um, put hot glue on the end and stick it in the hole but these branches are not thick enough I don't even know if I can drill like a hole to where it's not gonna like crack the wood uh, so I'm going to see what it does just by me hot gluing the branches on. Ugh, I really want like a hole put in these. Yeah. Okay, well this definitely needs some sort of stability in the branch because it's it's just too heavy of a leaf. So it keeps wanting to fall down. Um, so I'm gonna figure out what I need to do about that. Okay, I obviously don't have the proper tools for this, so I'm just kind of uh, laying it down. And hot gluing some branches on there. I really wish that uh, bit, like the right bit for this. I don't. Got that piece on there. This one's drying. Alright, it's completed. I think I think I'm pretty happy with it. It's really awkward, it's really crazy, and I love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 
put it on this um, pie safe that I have. This is the pie safe that I was talking about. I actually put all of my blankets in here. Um, and I think this, I think she told me this was like 150 years old, something like that. Um, so it was an heirloom pretty much in their family. And they, I don't know, for whatever reason, just gave it away. So I was the first to grab it. And um, also got this little photo as well. It's a vintage, I don't want to say vintage, but I guess, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know how old it is, but it looks old, so I'm just going to call it vintage um, painting. And so, yeah. I like it. I'm enjoying it so far. It looks really um, minimalistic. I will admit that branch right there is very long and awkward. I might adjust them just a little bit so that it doesn't look that awkward, but um, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Alright, it's adjusted. That's a little better, I think. Um, so that's my little project for the day. I just really wanted to create a little spring up here. Um, and I thought instead of using like, or going to Hobby Lobby or, or buying very expensive branches, I have branches in my backyard that I can use. And I just repurposed these leaves um, off of that tree in there because I just didn't, I didn't like the way that it was looking. It just looked really super fake. So I like the different tones in the actual real branches with the leaves. It's not too shabby. We'll see how the leaves last, if they fall off or what, but I'm really happy with this little DIY. that little project today for you guys um I definitely like I said want to do a bigger tree I'll do that probably later um but for right now I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy this weather and we'll see how long it lasts is that your horsey to shout out my brand before I close this video today um, just go outdoors I created this specifically for my YouTube channel um, but of course I shared it on I shared on Instagram all the time and here on YouTube community page so um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below if you want to support my channel and grab one of these pullovers we have t-shirts I just come out with razor backs for women um, and I hope to come out with a lot more later this year so I'll see you guys in the next video.